guys, it's Avery, and today I'm doing a tack room tour. So, I recently just moved tack rooms, and this is my own personal tack room, and I'm going to show you. So, here's the door to get in, and then there's a window, and it says Jumping Over the Moon, which is my horse show name, and there's my pony. So, in here, it's just a chicken coop. Um, we have a duck and a rooster, and this is their house as well. So, let me open it up. There's just this door, and you can put stuff on this door um, if you're careful. I used to put soap because we have a sink um, back there. Um, hi, bud. I'll tell them about you in a minute. Um, I think this is the first video with Moonlight in it. So I'm going to tell you all about Moonlight. Moonlight is an appendix horse, which is a quarter horse thoroughbred. We just figured that he's a thoroughbred um, just a few months ago, like two months ago. Um, so yeah, he's an appendix, which means quarter horse thoroughbred. Sorry about the rooster. So he's a quarter horse thoroughbred dough paint. So he's a Reiki pony, and he's 25 years old. So yeah, that's about him. But our duck and our chicken, I mean, our duck and our rooster, um, go inside there. So I'm going to show you everything in here. Um, I'm going to show you what's on the door, and then I'm going to show you what's inside there. But... You need to get out because I don't want you playing around. Out. Good boy. So, what's on my door is I have three ribbons. I have two first places and then a second. And I won these in Maine at a jumper, um, a hunter show, which was two foot um, verticals, I think. Yeah, I think so. Did I write it in the back? No, I didn't, sadly. I think it was two foot cross rails. I meant verticals. I have no clue. Who cares? Um, so this inside there, it doubles as a duck room, a chicken room, I mean rooster room, and a pony stall. So you can fit a pony in here, but Moonlight does not come in here. So I just have this um, neon and black um, lead rope, and I don't really use it. Um, my horse's stall is actually back out right in this building and it's also a feed room but i'll do a separate tour on that so now this thing it closes but we're just gonna go on it so there's a latch right here and it's kind of hard to open because it's better here my chicken room's been here about five years now five or six years so Opening it up, there's like a little ledge, and here it is. So this thing, it um, outside it, there's a handle, and it opens to be like from this window down. It opens up to be um, if we had a pony, it could come in here. Um, it would be a Shetland pony room, but we just have some um, the ducks um nest. Our duck lays one egg a day. And our rooster, sadly, unfortunately, does not lay eggs because it's a rooster and it's a boy. So, that's just in here. They're best friends. Now, I'm not going to show you it, um, that too much. I'm not going to get into details about the ducks and the chickens. I'm just going to um, show you my tack room. So, that's what was on my door. So, I'm going to show you what's in this side, which is our storage room. Um, this is basically my grandfather's. But, yeah, we have three Adirondack chairs here, and they're, like, reclining chairs. I think you can say that. I don't think that they're Adirondack. I think that they're reclining chairs. We have a fishing net, some fishing poles. Um, I think that is, like, a broom. I don't know, that green thing. I don't know. And then we have a helmet that I took my first fall in, and I keep this helmet here because, um, as you can see, it's not broken. I have two of the same ones. Um, but this was also my first helmet, and if we have little kids coming over, I'm not going to lend them my Charles Owen helmets, so they're going to have to use that one. So, then I have supplements that Moonlight used to go on. Um, it's just a powder, and, um, that's when he was boarding, when we used to board him at a farm, and he didn't really drink a lot, so that was a supplement, and he's falling asleep. So, then we have this rain sheet for him. And it's just like this checkered. I think we got it at Dover. I don't know. And then we have a generator. And then we have those. And now on to my thing. So I'm going to start from the door. And then I'm actually going to work my way this way. So 
I'm actually gonna <laughs> go by this side. So over here, I just have my window, and it says Avery's Tack Room. And then, as you could see outside in the window, we have that one, and I, it says, out. It says jumping over the moon. He he's farting. Jumping over the moon. Get away. I don't want to hear that. So then we just have these two crops. I don't actually use crops on him. Um, but I just have this one, and it makes a really nice whipping sound, and it's called a schooler's crop. And you can hit him from the butt, or you can hit him from this, um, the side of the withers, or you can hit the saddle pad, which when I use crops for lesson horses, I hit him on the saddle pad. And sometimes I'll hit him right on the wither. I don't really like um, going on their butt. Um, so then I have this one, and this is my favorite, actually, and it's just, um, it's, like, nylon, and you, it's just very soft and gentle, um, and you just have to hit this one right on the, um, withers, but I have more crops than that, I just have those in here, because they're at my house, so then if you go all the way up above from the window, um, there's two, like, little storage units, I don't have stuff in them, but then we also have those. So, there's actually a roof on top, obviously. That's my rooster. But we actually just have some stuff up there. It's a little loft from the inside. Stop rubbing your nose. I'm sorry if he's distracting. And he's also distracting me. But, you know, his cuteness. So, um, away from the window, we just have this bench that my grandfather made. And on top of it, I'll show you that last. But on the bottom, I have this string bag, and it's from Sunnycroft Equestrian Center. Don't read the phone number. Um, that was actually my first barn. I was about three years old, and I started riding there. So then in the middle, we just have two grooming totes. Well, not grooming totes, but totes. So this one is just a large pencil case, and I'll actually show you one here. What's inside? This is to clean tack and boots um sorry about this stupid phone case um so i have <clears throat> a yellow sponge and it's a horse i have this and it's boot polish and like it makes your boots turn different colors so this one's just brown and this one's just black i only use the black one and on the brown one i use for my saddles when they have like rubs on them i use it for shows I have this to clean um, your boots. I have two toothbrushes, a DIY um, polisher, and then some saddle soap. So that's what's in there. Um, that's my first kit. I'm just going to put this back. Um, getting my second one out. You can probably not be able to see. But this one, it's just to clean saddle pads. Um, cause my saddle pads get dirty a lot, and I'm gonna take off this phone case, so don't mind if you see the phone case being taken off, cause it's very annoying. So, here it is, and if you open it, it's kind of, it used to be my train case, it used to have like a thing on top, but you know, I just took it off and that's, get out of your supplement! I'm just gonna put his supplement over here. Okay, so we just have some Ajax um, bleach, and I use this to clean the inside of the saddle pads. I don't clean the outsides unless they have dirt. I just have this, which I need to get rid of. It's whole blend coconut water, and I water down shampoos, and that's what I use to clean my saddle pads. I need to take that one out. And then I have this one. It's Herbal Assessius. Um low hydration and it's coconut and it's watered down i use it for saddle pads and i'm gonna keep this one and then i have this and it's called um vegas um it's kind of like a spray to um for saddle pads that kind of stink get out kind of stinks so i just use this um so yeah that's what's in my little kit thing for saddle pads um, so putting that back, on top, I just have my grooming kit, and I'll just, I'm not going to show you every single brush, I'm just going to tell you. So I have hair brushes for the horse, I have spare hoof picks that I never used, 
in this one. I have more hairbrushes than that. You just can't see. I have um, curry combs, small, um, medium, and large. Um, and two of them are flexible, and one of them's um, like the hard plastic. Then I have all these brushes. These are hard and soft brushes. And then I have coconut oil. So that's what's on top. So now on this, it's just 101 arena exercises for the horse and rider. And it's um, there's dressage, jumping, western, um, barrel racing, stuff like that in here. And it's really, really good to read this. Um, then I have this as Glade Spray. And it's cozy autumn candle. And I just like to make my tack room smell good. My horse is not like that. And then above here, I have my Ovation 54-inch girth. And this does not fit him. It's way too big. Um, but, you know, I really love this girth. It's from Dover. I think that this was $50. I don't know. But it's brown, and it doesn't match my saddle that I'm using now. So then above, you can see my saddle. I'll do. Um, I'll show you that in a minute. But then up here, I just have... Some fly spray in like a little spray bottle. I make my own fly spray. And then when I used to buy fly spray, um, I like using my own, it's better. Um, I have some mane and tail detangler just in a fly spray bottle. And then I have my old helmet, and my sister uses it. And I'm probably gonna put some fly spray on him right now, but he's gonna run because if he's not on his halter, yep, if he doesn't have his halter on, and I'm holding him. He runs away because he doesn't like it. So, now I'll show you my saddle. Ow. It just has this blue saddle cover on it. And it's a black saddle. It's synthetic because I don't like using leather saddles. Because I think it's just mean for the animals. And I just have these iron coarse steel stirrups. And my stirrup leathers are kids sized. And I think it's on hole 10. And I think it goes up to hole 20, but, you know. And I'm just going to put these back on. So, ow, I keep getting hooked on that. But this is my tack box. And as you can see, I just took the phone case off. Um, I keep getting hooked on this thing. So I'm going to just hammer it down. I'm sorry, guys. I'm just going to hammer it. Okay, so I shouldn't get hooked no more. So, this is my um, tack box. I keep saddle pads in it. I will show you inside. It does lock. Um, I have to grab the key inside. So, I'm just going to pause this video. I'm just going to put the video down. And then I'm going to go grab the key. And then we'll be off. So, I'm back, guys. Um... I have opened it. It's just like one of those old-fashioned keys. This thing used to have wheels, but now it doesn't. We took them off. Um, this is not like a tack box that you buy at, like, Dover or anything. This is just like an old, like, cedar chest thing, and I think it's really nice for the barn because I don't want to buy um, a $1,000 tack trunk just for saddle pads. And they're not as, like, big and sturdy as these, and um, they do get dirty. So, I used to have this, um, a tack trunk when I used to board my horse. Um, it's actually right here in the chicken coop. Um, there's stuff on it right now. It's a big wooden one. And it has, like, shells on it. But you know. So, inside, I have a bunch of saddle pads. I have my mint green one, because I rode with my mint green one to match my mint green shirt. I have a fluffy show pad, I have a purple saddle pad, I have a black, um, a navy and white saddle pad, I have a burgundy one, I have a white one, and I have like a, a circled one. Get out! And then on this basket, it's just blue, I have this purple ear bonnet, I have these closed front jumping galloping boots and they're in the royal blue color and then I have a brow band that um, someone made for me and then closing that 
I just have my bridle. This is the Silver Fox bridle, and I really love this bridle. And yeah, I think that wraps up my Takram Tar. And here's my pony, so I'm just going to do my outro with my pony. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was, like, fun to watch. And I also hope it was entertaining. Um, and I also hope it was, um, like, it teach you guys, um, some stuff that's in my tack room. And also what you should keep in your tack room. Um, I'm just going to brush my pony's hair. Or not. He's scared. Um. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.